For the last few years, there's been a trend on YouTube uh, that's basically on the premise of a day in the life of a blank. And usually it has to do with software engineering, computer science, anything that has to do with technology. I think that's where it stemmed from, but don't quote me on that. But now it's gone into a bigger trends into different industries, uh, like a day in the life of a lawyer or an attorney or a day in the life of the startup culture or, or even, even the medical field now, like doctors and nurses and physical therapy. So there's been a lot of areas and niches where this has gone in. So this past summer, while I was a cybersecurity intern, I looked up a day in the life of a cybersecurity intern, thinking that, well, of course, there's got to be, you know, an internship video, uh, a day in the life of an intern that it's IT security related. And to my surprise, there wasn't. And so I decided to jump on the bandwagon and create the video. The video was created through my cell phone and I really didn't put a ton of effort into it, but I try to communicate, you know, what a day, a real day in the life of a cybersecurity intern will be or someone who is going to be a cybersecurity major or someone who is looking to get an entry level career in IT security. And so I got some questions, some emails throughout these last three months regarding what did you actually do during your time? Don't get me wrong, it, your day looked okay, but what did you do from seven to four? You know, what, what, what were your projects? What were you working on? It just looked like you were staring at a computer all day. Um, that doesn't look like the most exciting job in the world. And there's no doubt, uh, you know, at times it was, it was very uh, tedious, you could say, but it really taught me uh, a lot about just what the industry is going to be like and what I'm going to be doing. And so I'm going to go ahead and give you the four things, the four main things that I was doing throughout this internship. So number one was shadowing other areas within IT. To give you an example, I shadowed the networking uh, center. Uh, I got to see what the networking people did. I got to see a networking operations center. I got to see the IT purchasing side, what that was like, what to be expect, what's to be expected in that. How do you manage a budget within the IT world? Is there a lot of tools that you're going to be using? I got to see how to manage the clients, um, you know, because the clients were buying certain things within our the company that I was interning at. And so I had to see that and I got to see what that takes. And I also got to see what the software development life was like at this particular company software development life cycle, the tools they use, how they meet deadlines, uh, you know, what the managers are expected to do. And so I got to see a lot of areas within IT, which I was actually at first a little bit perplexed by. I didn't want to do any of that, but because I know IT security is where I want to be at, but now I get to see other areas and I got to see other areas and I got to see, you know, where, where it is uh, that kind of IT as a whole comes together and now makes what is now known as IT. So the second thing I did was a lot of meetings, uh, a lot of internal meetings, but also some external meetings with vendors. And it, within these meetings, I really got to see what a meeting looks like. Uh, I think stereotypically meetings are a waste of time and they're boring and they're just, you know, you just sit there and you're trying to get through the meeting and move on. But I kind of got to see and witness and pose up questions and ask questions and and get information and what did I need from each meeting. And I got to kind of see that and what I needed to do with the information after I had a meeting. And I would say actually these meetings were very useful and worth the time most of the time. And so I thought that was a, a great aspect that I got to learn and, and communicate with other people and, and sit down. The third thing I did this past summer as a service intern was uh, basically the primary things that I was doing, the, the things that I was doing on a daily basis, uh, there wasn't really a day I didn't do this. And that is a lot of policy documentation, a lot of projects regarding, you know, kind of compliance issues, um, projects that had to do with um, just, I'm going to put it at compliance and just move on. I, I don't know if I can go into any more detail into that. But uh, a lot of policy, a lot of gap analysis, learning uh, about certain industries and posing up certain requirements, certain research to my managers where they could deal with it and say, okay, yeah, we're going to use this aspect. We're not going to use that. 
and also responding to a lot of security alerts via email. We had a lot of those come in. Uh, they were very, very low level uh, security alerts. And so we would tackle those and then add them into the ticket system. And it was a rather interesting uh, way to see and handle with the end users when we were working with email. And so that was really my primary thing. And you could be saying right now, hold up, you snaked me. You, you totally just snaked me. What are you talking about? I thought you were, you know, coding with Python and you were hacking into this system. I wasn't. Uh, but I will say this. I did automate a lot of my tasks with scripting. So my self-study, I guess, really did work out. And I was learning scripting throughout this summer, uh, a lot of self-taught. And it worked. <laughs> I, surprisingly, I got a lot of things to work through my scripts and it was really fun. And so my technical work and my hands on, you know, hands on, I could automate it and then I could push it off to my managers and they're like, whoa, hold up here, man. How did you do that so fast? And I said, through the power of some scripting. So, you know, I, I did get to, to use some of my technical knowledge and my premise to, to tackle some of these projects. And the fourth thing, prior, uh, okay. The fourth thing, the fourth and final thing um, I did this past summer was network with a lot of people. And I got to see different areas within IT, don't get me wrong, and that was great. But I got to see other areas within the business. Uh, we had a lot of presentations that we got to sit down and we got to learn about the customer service side. We got to learn about the business, the marketing, the finance. Um, we even got to learn about the HR side. So we got to learn about the different, even the engineering, this was an engineering company. So we had to sit down with some engineers and. They would tell us about what they did. And so it was a lot of, a lot of interesting insights. And the thing that I really learned from all of this was a business provides a great network of people. Like you can get your name known and you can start building relationships and you can really find people uh, and build a network as an intern. And I was really surprised by that. And so, I got to network and just sit down and meet people through happy hours. Uh, I mean, not that this was often, but uh, once a week we'd have presentations, but not the happy hours. But really, ultimately, we got to to get our name known and we got to tell tell me, you know, tell us. Uh, we got to say, you know, who we are, what we're studying and, and kind of get our name known. And it was great. And it was a great opportunity for that. So this past summer, I did a lot of work, uh, a lot of work. Okay. So this past summer, that's kind of, uh, so these four things were basically what I did this past summer as a cybersecurity intern. I know a lot of people, again, were, were what questioning what I was doing specifically, because there is different IT security internships. If you're looking for a way to find an entry level career, if you're considering going to college, or maybe IT certifications as a possible route, or maybe you're going into a boot camp, or maybe you want an internship. You know, there's a lot of how to start a career in cybersecurity. That's a big question now in today's world. I have actually compiled a resource, a resourceful website. And this website, cyberinternacademy.com, is completely free. Uh, I do recommend some resources uh, that are relatively cheap and I've tested them and I'm genuine about everything and I'm not trying to push a whole bunch of free crap or free, you know, just buy this for $9.99 or something like that. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to be genuine. I'm trying to help you guys out here. And if you're just looking to prepare and learn about the industry as a whole, uh, you know, career wise, I recommend that you just go over to my website, cyberinternacademy.com. And I really think that you'll find some sort of value within this. And you can really ultimately collect the information, utilize one or two things, and really ultimately make yourself stand out as an employee, as a potential candidate in the interviewing process. And that's what I want you to do. I really want you to work on getting this career that you really want. And so I have compiled the resource and it's all free right now uh, and it, it's going to stay free. So thank you guys for listening. I hope this was informal in terms of just what I did as a cybersecurity intern this past summer. And I'll keep you guys informed and have a good day.